Hello and welcome to how to add root motion. So do you have an animation that you have to use uh, but you don't have it as a root motion and you want it to be root motioned? Well, I'm going to go through and show you how you can add root motion to any animation inside of Unreal Engine 4. So here's my animation I'm going to use and it's a little charge attack where he charges his sword up and flies it forward. And I want him to dart forward like a car, almost like anime esque dash forwards. So we're going to stop the animation and put the playhead right at the start here. And then we'll click on the skeleton tree on the left and choose the root bone. With it selected, go up top where it says key and click new key. Now you can add keyframes to your animation. So you'll see here you've got root bone appearing here. And this is an additive layer track, meaning that any animation that's done on here is an addition to the current animation it was already doing. So let's set this up. First of all, I need to set the keyframes for this thing. So at the start here, I'm going to add a key again. And then I'm going to move it along to where I want it to start moving. And then I'm going to click add key again. And then I'm going to move it forward the way I want it to start, well, be the end point of it. So now I'm going to move that to where I want it to be. And then add key again. And you'll see this little graph now is now showing this little change here. So basically, it looks like this. And we can tweak this as much as we want as well by changing the graph here itself. Now if you want to change the graph a bit more, a uh, bit more control on it, you can double click on it. Inside my curve here, I can click on each one of these graphs here and it will show me the translation that's happening here. Now at the moment we're just translating in the Y axis. So if I go to the Y one, this is the one that is doing all the work. So when it goes forward, it's doing that there. I can customize this further by clicking and dragging each of these keys around on this track. So if I want it to start a bit later, I can do by just dragging it forwards and dragging it forwards there. And I can fine tune my animation for this all inside Unreal. Quite like that, as it is there. You can also make it so it's more curved rather than linear like this. So if you want to do that, if you click on this arrow here, you can choose auto, user set, break, linear, constant. And you can see it's linear as the default one. But if you want it to be more curved so that it's more less of an abrupt stop, you can do the auto end there. And you'll get like a little deceleration happening at the end here. This works best when you've got two nodes set to both auto. You can customize this further as needed. Okay. You can customize this bit and turn these handles however you want to fine tune your animation. And there we have it. We have added root motion to our character. So to actually use it in our game, we're going to go to the asset details and go down and choose enable root motion. Well, first of all, sorry, we have to hit apply. Hit apply at the top and that will apply this track to the root motion, uh, to the animation of the character. Then I'm going to enable root motion and hit save. And that's now got root motion enabled on that character. I then want to close this and I'm going to make this a montage. Let me go create an montage, and this will be the charge attack. And we want to use this one in our character's attack code. So I'm going to go into my character, and I'm going to do it with the right mouse button. So I'm going to do right mouse button, and in here I'm going to drag out my mesh and tell it to play montage. And the montage it's going to play is going to be our charge attack. So this is when I would just push it. Uh, when I release it, I don't want it to cancel the montage if it is okay to do so. So what I'm going to do here, just make sure it works. I'm just going to take the mesh out, get the enemy instance. And I'm going to tell it to stop montage. Montage stop. I'll get into released and we're going to choose our charge attack and the blend out time we'll put it as 0.2 hit compile and save that so now let's test this out in game 
So whilst I hold down that key, he should go into the charge attack. Like that. And obviously we can tweak this further with visual effects, sound effects and so forth to sell the idea that this character is going super fast to do an attack. And if I quit by letting go of the mouse, he'll stop his charge attack. And there we have it. If you like this and want to see more how-tos and other videos by me, head over to patreon.com forward slash ryanlaley where you can catch videos months before anyone else. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.